Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video, it is your boy Ollie. Now, I'm just quickly doing an intro for this because this was recorded a while ago, a couple of weeks ago actually. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give a little intro to it because obviously um, the sort of interview content stuff I've been putting out is pretty long and a lot of the people who watch my YouTube channel, not a lot at the moment, but you know, a lot of the people that watch them you know, aren't really interested in like watching a 30 minute video, which I totally understand. However, you know, there's a lot of videos like the one you're about to watch where it's just literally two people talking about a topic. And, you know, I've watched certain videos like this and just hearing, just hearing some people's experiences and their journey has helped me get to where I am now, I feel anyway. Um, so yeah, I will be doing a lot of different content on YouTube, but there will definitely be some interviews like this and obviously you would have seen the ones I've done already. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel because yeah, it's the littest, no, don't say it's lit. Don't say it's lit, it's, it is lit though. I've actually lost track of the episodes. I've managed to record three, I've managed to record three episodes this week. Um, literally, I got two people on yesterday and it just sort of snowballed very, very quickly. Uh, so, obviously, Ken, I know who you are, but if you wanted to introduce yourself to anyone, obviously, wouldn't have a, wouldn't know who you are, please, this would be the time to do so. Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Ken. Um, you know, I run a YouTube channel and I do social media marketing. Um, you know, I uh, did about 11K in 35 days with social media marketing, uh, right as I committed to, you know, running my agency. And now I'm about to launch my course. So, you know, that's background about me. Sick, sick. So, uh, talk about more about like your background. Um, so what, so obviously you, you now run a social media marketing agency. What was you doing before that? How did you sort of stumble across? So the, the last, last year I uh, actually dropped out of uh, college because, um, I made about $250,000 from cryptocurrency. Sick. So, yeah, yeah, it was a good, it was a good time, man. It was uh, I made that money in, in, a, in like a couple of months, basically, because I invested at the right time. And uh, you know, I, I thought I was gonna be rich, you know. So I was like, you know what, I don't need, I don't need school. I don't need, I don't need to be. I was actually uh, going to school for, to study as a nurse. Really? You know, funny, which is it was has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now, right? So it's such a it's such a quick shift from like uh, that type of mindset into like you know being my own type of person. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, I made two hundred fifty thousand dollars in January twenty eighteen, uh, and then after that, I lost it. Lost probably eight ninety percent of it. So I was kind of, I was kind of, kind of a little bit depressed after that. So I, I, you know, I was looking for avenues how to make money. Um, then I got into drop shipping. Okay, yeah. so drop shipping. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like the one, you know. I thought it was gonna be this, this, this is gonna be the one that's gonna make me, you know, a million dollars. Okay, or at least just get me to, you know, financial freedom at least. So, uh, you know, with, with the leftover money I had from cryptocurrency, um, I poured that into uh, dropshipping. So I spent about, you know, I spent about uh, $3,000 on courses and uh, ads as well, you know, because people kept telling me like, yo, uh, you know, you do this on on uh, on uh, dropshipping or e-commerce, then you'll get this much amount. But no one ever told me that you have to spend money on ads. So that's where I kind of, <laughs> you just thought you know, this that, organic traffic yeah, was going to pour in. Yeah, that's thought I was kind of like, oh, yeah, man, it's going to be so easy. But, uh, you know, I was wrong. So I failed horribly at that. Um, What's You ad? know, but uh, I was still... Sorry, was just, just to cut in, man. What sort of uh, what sort of products were you trying to sell um, on the whole dropshipping thing? Yeah, I was selling really low-ticket products, which now I, 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 uh, I look back on it and I'm like, wow, like that, that, that's... <laughs> it just didn't make any sense. Right, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, after that, I, I kind of stopped dropshipping. I did it for like a, a three, three months and then uh, went back to my YouTube channel because I was still doing my YouTube. But, you know, it was around cryptocurrency. Yeah. Um, I was still making off money from that. Like, I was trading, investing, uh, sponsorships. And, uh, you know, I was making about, uh, you know, actually this summer, that this like summer, like 2018, I was actually making like 10 grand a month yeah. um, for two months. From from closing deals on sponsorships, right? Because I that's what I was good at. You know, I was I was good at closing deals for my YouTube channel, yeah. Like sponsorship wise, and, and it actually like a little bit of influencer marketing because I had a little group of uh, cryptocurrency YouTubers, yeah. And I would get comp I would call call companies like, hey, listen, you know, like uh, let let's let's let let's, let us promote your your project um, for for uh, you know a set amount. So I would charge them like five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars per video, 
So it was it was like easy money, right? You know, all I was doing was that for like the summer. Like I was I was making pretty good money, and after that, it kind of died down. So you know, I was making. So when it died down, I was only making like a couple grand a month, thousand dollars, two thousand dollars a month. And I was like, you know what? Fuck, I'm not making enough money anymore. Like I dropped out of college, and I actually went like in like like, like a down downward spiral. Okay, so I got uh, I I got back into uh, you know drinking a lot, smoking smoking a lot of weed, doing a lot of drugs, like pretty much every weekend. And uh, you know, I kind of lost track of my goals of why I dropped out of college in the first place. Yeah. So you know, it's, it's like wow, like you know, one day I had a realization, like wow, like you know, like you dropped out of college, you lost money, now you're kind of just in this downward spiral, of just doing drugs. So now, what what are you gonna do? Okay, so like I, I was, I was like literally like one day I was drunk, I was high, I was well, and I was, I came to that realization. So I was like, next day, I was like, you know what, I, I need to do something, right? So I started buying. I, that's when you know, social because I already knew about social media marketing, yeah. but I never really tried it out like fully, right? So what I did after after that day of realization, I bought like a, a bunch of courses. Literally, I, I just poured every, like all the money I had left from like, you know, what I was making from cryptocurrency, poured that into courses, even went in credit card debt because I knew I knew I was, I was like like wow like this is it man like I, I gotta yeah, you went, I gotta make a decision you went away. And, and I gotta commit to one thing you know and uh, I because I, 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 I fully understood the business model so that's why I really went hard on it yeah right so you no know, went credit card debt. And then right when I got in the credit card debt, I was like, my mind was like tunnel vision at that point because like I had, I, I was like, I had like no money anymore. Um, I had to pay it off, I paid off the debt. So, you know, I, I read like super hard, man. Um, I locked myself in my room for about, you know, I, I told myself I locked myself in the room until I get like two clients, right? And this was like mid-December 2018. And uh, I deleted, deleted Insta, Snapchat, deleted Instagram, um, you know, uh, I... Yeah, just deleted Snapchat, deleted Instagram. Told my friends like, listen, I don't, I don't want to talk to you for like a couple of months because I gotta make this happen. Yeah, see. and uh, you know, um, you know, but so I did that. And before 2019, I closed two clients, right? And then you know, uh, I, uh, January 2nd, I closed my third client, and then January 5th, I closed another client, and then literally the, the whole month of January, I closed like 10 clients. Sick. And uh, it it was it was just like it, it went from like a downward spiral to an upward spiral. Yeah, like it just that fast, man. And um, do you think it was, it, it was do you think it was like yeah, once like, once you had that once you got that first client, you was like yeah, it, it, like everything you just, just like you yeah, just multiply, like multiply. Like, yeah, yeah, because I um because like I said, I, I learned from all those courses, yeah. right? It's like it's like I had a lot of knowledge as well as I was, I was uh, I had a lot of knowledge and experience with closing high ticket deals already. So it's like all of it put together, and all I needed was that one win to get me that multiple win. So it was, it was like win, 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 win. Okay, and then like dude, after that, when I, uh, February first, I, I hit uh, I hit eleven point five k. So in about thirty five days, of really just going at it with my agency. Yeah. And then I flew to Bali, um, meet up with Quentin and Yovan, stayed with stayed with them for a couple weeks. Um, really showed me like. You know what is what 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 real hustle is all about. Yeah. So shouts out to them for that. Okay. And then I came back here. I was like, they opened my eyes to a different world. So I was like, you know what? Like, like an agency is great, but what what's even better is is helping other people. Yeah. Um. You know, kind of sure. achieve the same success as I did, and helping people at scale. Yeah. So you know, I I kind of you know, I kind of found out like a, a problem that a lot of people had. So you know what? That's that's why he's like, you know what? I'm gonna make a course and just help people at scale. Um, so then I'm I'm here now. So I mean that that all really happened. I I just finished my course by the way, literally in less than a week because okay. you know I've been averaging two 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 hours of sleep a night. Like today I, I didn't sleep Bro, at I've, all. I've like, seen I'm, like your stories and shit where it's just like use like the, the caffeine mm -hmm. the caffeine thing and that. that was that. That was funny. To be oh funny. yeah, man! This this right here. Just like yeah, I my, fucking get yeah, these caffeine my, tablets. That was funny. Um, but yeah, man, that, that all happened in the span of like, I'd say less than two months, That's right? Sick. That's Making eleven point five k, um, going to Bali, on the other side of the world, and then finishing a course in less than a week. So, so and it's like a it's like a full course too. Like, I mean, even when, even though it's a beta course, it's it's like still like everything I knew. Yeah. What's um? So what sort of? I'm just going off of like off of like my notes for for this. But what sort of like yeah. impacted you to to just like pack your bags and go to Bali? 
dude, it, it was it was really spontaneous, man. It was like um, it was like something was telling me because initially, uh, a couple months I've I've already planned to go to uh, uh Miami, Florida with a with a friend, like a really good friend of mine. Like we would we would we would, we've been planning it for a while. Like uh, we we're seeing Grant Cardone. 10x conference okay cool uh it's basically a, a big entrepreneur conference so we've been playing that for a while and then i was like you know i'm, I'm going to florida uh, nothing's gonna change and then um uh quentin called me up like yo dude you gotta go to bali bro like you gotta go to bali like you'll learn so much more here yeah. and i, I was kind of stuck with like a decision i was like do i do i dip out of my best um on one of my really good friends who i've been planning it for a while yeah. And, and I bought. I already bought the ticket too. I bought the plane ticket oh, and and the uh, and the conference ticket. Oh shit! So, so I was already like, so I was already hundred dollars deep, right? And I was like, fuck, like, dude. Yeah, I was like, I was, I was. It was a pretty tough decision, man. That's um, sick, though, man. That's sick. So, but you know, I I went with my I went with my gut, man. I was like, you know what, Bali is the right thing. It just feels right. So I, I had to go. I it's like literally, literally like split decision. Bought my ticket with. Uh, bought my ticket to Bali, and um, dude, just, I just flew. And, I mean, it was that. It was just like that. That's sick, man. And and like you like you said, like they sort of taught you taught you the way that now you feel like you would never go back to how you was before, and they've taught you a different mentality with certain things. Absolutely, absolutely, man. They're they're probably one of the best mentors I've had. Sick. Um, no doubt. That's sick, man. Um, but it's just like those instances instances where like I don't know, man. Like I think I think things happen for a reason. Oh, mate, a hundred percent. I think. Uh, I think I think I dropped out of college for a reason, and then I think I, I lost two hundred fifty thousand dollars in cryptocurrency for a reason, and I think I lost I, I lost in drop shipping I, I, for a reason. I feel in that I guess it was all for for like this, yeah. you know, because if I didn't do drop shipping, I wouldn't have learned Facebook ads. Yeah, of course. Right? If I didn't do crypto, I wouldn't have learned how to close sales, high ticket sales, you know, and then it kind of just led up to this point, I guess. Yeah. Exactly so, that. Exactly that. Um, just because obviously like you've mentioned that Quinton and Jovan um, and you mentioned their course but you did previously mention that you had done a couple of courses beforehand yeah, yeah um, I, I did like I think I did like five courses before that really Do you mind and, sort of talking yeah, about and a couple what after courses? that I just I'm, I'm really you know I really believe in like just investing in knowledge man like because I know because I know for, for a fact that courses they should just shorten your learning curve that's 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 the fact like they just shorten your learning curve Definitely. instead of just Googling and, and, and YouTubing like other stuff like the courses are by far definitely because they're they're a lot more direct as well if you spend fucking hours yeah. sourcing through YouTube yeah. videos so and for, for my Instagram story I'm actually gonna post like a bunch of like invoices of like the course I bought so it's gonna be like probably gonna be like close to five thousand dollars probably really yeah well, I'd say probably I've done about that at all to be fair um well, yeah so I'm getting on to my next sort of question um what sort of apps do you use, mate? Like um, anything from I've, I noticed you're on PC. So is there any PC apps you use? Any iPhone apps um, or whatever phone you use? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, in in terms of just like helping me out with just like life and just like stuff. just general. Don't say pull up, but yeah, in general sort of <laughs> <laughs> general sort of apps that sort of help you get you through your day and have made you the person that you are. Because we, we live in a fucked up yeah, generation sure. where like people genuinely rely on apps these days. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I use something called Wonder uh, Wonderlist, basically like a to do list app. Okay. I put that in the very front of my phone, um, and then I put uh, let's see. So th this is like what my the very front of my like phone looks like. You know, cool. you know how other people have like Instagram and Snapchat on there. Yeah. I have yeah. these two on um, because I know that I have a to do list to do every single day. Yeah. And my calendar for my meetings, and then the rest is just phone and, and text. See. So I mean. You know, I, I yeah. So that's that's pretty much what I have. And then, um, you know, I, I use Alarmy. Alarmy is like an app that yeah. You know, I, 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 that. I have troubles like waking up, man. I like, use that's that. Like, I use that. That's as been well. like a uh, yeah. That's been an issue, man. So what Alarmy does is like you have to take it. You have to you can set it an action in order to disable the alarm. So in this case, I set it so that I have to take a picture of like a like a, well, my coffee maker downstairs. Okay. So. Yeah. In order to turn off the alarm, so that's, I have to go run downstairs. That's so sick. That's so sick. I, and I'm, the, and I'm, I'm like, and I'm like, I'm wide awake, man, because like the coffee's already there, so I just, just drink it. Yeah, yeah. I, I've literally got the exact same thing, but funny enough, I have, I've, yeah. like, I've threw the barcode one, and I've cut a barcode out, and I've stuck it like inside the cabinet in my kitchen. So literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally yeah, the exact right. same thing. But like, you walk out, and I'm just For like, sure. it doesn't don't scan, and you're literally just like half asleep. Fuck it. it yeah. 
I mean, I mean, it's like you're already there. You're awake, so you just keep going. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like I think this app, honestly, man, like this, I think this app is like, oh my gosh, this app saved me. That I'll be you guys. <laughs> honest, that app has saved me as well, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, because <clears throat> um, I know I probably would not be in this meeting, honestly, man, if this wasn't for this app. Because I was uh, I was taking a nap before this. Oh really? <laughs> I was taking like a half hour nap and like the app, the the it just my phone just kept ringing, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. no that's all right no problem man no problem um obviously yeah. yeah you've sort of touched on like your your um your your tendency to buy courses and stuff like that um the next sort of question would be what books um do you recommend do you, do you read any books or is it predominantly sort of courses you sort of tend to tend to yeah, yeah for sure so right to? now I, I mean all about courses man like i'm uh I'm, I'm actually easy to be sold Right. Okay. If I see something that I think is really valuable, dude, I'll buy. I'll buy it instantly. And I think that's one of the reasons for like my successes is because like I'll I'll make a decision like like really quickly. Yeah. Rather Same than with the crypto, wait right? eight for things. What's up? Same with the crypto, right? Like you just jumped on that crypto like when some Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Some I was like, people you know be like, Oh, I, I don't know. Investing, boom, boom, boom. I didn't I didn't wait like months to invest. I guess I just went at it. Um and as for books, uh, I like, um, I think the best book I've, I've read is like How to Win Friends and Influence People. Cool. Because it's, it's just a book that really just builds, like helps you build like solid relationships, um, helps helps you like close deals. Just anything with like communication, it just really helps with that. Sick. I think that's really one of the best books that, that actually stood out to me. As well as uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, Crush It and Crushing It. Okay. I think those are the best books I've ever read. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's got good. It's got uh, a lot of mo- like motivation, actually, like actual stories of like the modern sort of day as well, and crush it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah for sure. Um, cool, man. Um, next sort of thing would be click funnels. Just because I've spoke to some people and they're like, "What the fuck is mm-hmm. a click funnel?" So, do you have any experience with click funnels? Do you use click funnels? Do you implement them at all? Personally, um, no. My that's that's my my business partner does that. He does all the he does my the back end stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. Because personally, I've never used click click funnels. And so, <laughs> so sorry, just because I think that was before we started the recording. But d- just touch on your business partner as well, because. Uh, you said that he's oh a, yeah dude, he's, he's like, uh, young right yeah he's uh, he lives like he lit okay so he we met in like a, a group chat right it's like a Instagram group chat okay see and then he was in a, he was like yo like where are you from I'm I'm from Sacramento like oh me too so we're like we live like 15 minutes away from each other sick so he's he's 14 years old he makes over eight thousand dollars a month um for it on his agency wow. uh he was actually making ten thousand uh, dollars like last month but no this kid this kid's a genius he's solid. He doesn't even, um, man, like he, it's like the 14 year olds that you see nowadays is like, they're 14. But when you, when you talk to this kid, man, he's, you don't see a 14 year old, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Cause like, I don't, I don't even like, sometimes I don't even, I don't, I, I just see him as like, as like someone who's like mature enough to yeah. handle like whatever type of conversation. Like I, there's not even a, that thought in my head. Like he's 14. Like I, I, I literally forget he's 14 sometimes. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's sick. That is actually so sick. Yeah, I'd love to get him on and actually speak to him, man. That'd be sick. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, yeah, the next one would be sort of um, these are very generic questions, and I know we've gone over them anyway. But I like to ask the same people the same things, just because like the click funnels, like I get some people that's like, "What the fuck's a click yeah. funnel?" and uh, stuff like that. Was, yeah, I'm gonna ask my producer, mate. What's what's a click funnel? He's probably gonna be like, ah, "What the fuck yeah. are you talking about, you idiot?" Um, but yeah, have you got any sort of tips for Instagram? I noticed obviously, like you said, you've you deleted Instagram, um, so, mm-hmm. but obviously I'm guessing now like you're sort of promoting your course through Instagram, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I bought like probably a couple thousand of those followers. Okay. Um, a few a few thousand of those are also from my YouTube channel, sick. and a few thousand of those are from Quentin and Yovan always promoting me. Sick, sick. So, so yeah, that's that. Um, but when I first you know deleted my Instagram, I literally put everything to zero. Like I put like I kind of unfollowed all my friends from like high school yeah um because they were all post they were all posting some random like it was just like so unrelated to like what i was trying to do and my goals yeah so like, it was just a distraction man because you'll see like just memes and stuff like that i was like yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't need that right now you know it's i mean that's great like maybe for later on but like not right now sick that's that's so sick that you've got that sort of mentality behind it as well um, yeah, yeah. The next one would be sort of like uh, I know we just sort of touched on like your team, the fact that you've got a business partner and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was like teams and outsourcing and um, 
what's your, yeah, experience, yeah, what's sure. your experience with that especially like going to see those guys because they're very much like outsource this outsource that and 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 so forth yeah yeah so i mean i believe i believe um kind of doing things like like when you're first starting out doing everything by yourself yeah right because i believe that you need to have knowledge around everything in your business because when you start to outsource or, or hire someone to do a job for you and if you don't know that type of job then yeah. you literally will be hiring the wrong person like you won't be able to tell if they're doing a good job or not Okay, okay. Compared to when you already know that job, and when you hire someone, you can tell if they're doing it right or wrong, and you and you can just oversee them. So I mean, that's that's how I would, I would go about it. That's it. So you are you currently outsourcing anything at the moment? Obviously, like where you said you scout. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I outsource uh, Facebook ads and like and content managing. So right now, I pretty much outsource uh, most of the th the stuff. But um, for Legion, um, you know, I, I do the Facebook ads because I I kind of like it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it is a lot of work, but I, I do kind of like it. Okay, cool. You, but you said you but content magic for sure. You said you got someone for Facebook ads. Yeah, yeah. Um, like on on one of my clients, and that's about it. Okay. And also, I, I got someone that uh, that cold calls, that cold calls for me and lands me meetings. Okay. So, uh, dude, he, he, uh, he's he's a solid guy. Right? He gets me. He literally books me a meeting every single day. How's that been going? Yeah. How's that? How, how did you find him as well? Because I actually um. Oh, from, uh, from, yeah, from, from the um, from Upwork before. Yeah, he's he's from uh, the, the 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 one of the course I took with Quentin and Yovan. So he was in a private group. Okay, cool, cool. So that was yeah. just sort of like a network connection more than more so than like you put yeah. a job posting out or anything. For sure, like he saw that I was I was like good at closing deals, and then uh, I saw that he was like really good at getting meetings through cold call. So I mean, why not just work together? You know. Yeah. So how does it how does it work? Don't mind me asking. In terms of like, do you, do you give him a like commission if you close the deal or? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean, since he's the one that like kind of uh, you know lands the meetings and, and does all the the heavy work yeah. basically, which is like you know getting the meetings, cold calling, and then I I'll, basically what we do is like we will just hop on a call together. And I'll, I'll help close the deal, and then I'll take like eight percent for the first month. Yeah. And then basically, like from that, it's it's the rest is his. Oh, sick! That's because he's because it, it's it's his client. Yeah, from yeah, now yeah. on, like I don't want to because honestly, I don't like handling too much clients. I just like even though an agency is great, man, like it's it's just, it's stressful. Yeah. When once you get to a certain amount of clients, it's it's super stressful, and uh, you know, it's like it's not fun anymore, right? So I'd like yeah. to keep it kind of like, yeah. And of course, you're like the whole reason that you you you've probably built this sort of business and go, gone for this business module is freedom. And obviously you don't want to be to a point where you're, you're fucking, yeah. you're working in the business, not on the business and, and just literally killing yourself doing it. Whereas you might as well be oh, able to fucking nine to five doing that. Yeah. So I actually had to drop some clients during the month of January just because like, um, right. I dropped them for the next month. Um, just because like it was just, it was just too much. Um, some of those clients were also like, like really put like really like bossy yeah, which yeah, i yeah. didn't like yeah sure. like, like don't tell me what to do you know like I, I know my job better than you do you know what i mean yeah, yeah so yeah. i mean and i'm guessing there's that, no point with, those were obviously the clients yeah. paying the least as well right what's that i'm guessing that those clients were the ones paying the least as well oh yeah <laughs> actually that's true yes yes i had a i had a client who was paying me five i don't know why i took that client but she was paying me five hundred dollars a month to uh, get her some uh, good leads, I got I, I, yeah, and then she was she'd always be texting me, and uh, she would she would even try to like recommend me an ad to run. I'm like I'm like do your job or something, and, and follow up with these leads. Yeah, I got her a hundred leads in um in like a week. Like they're they're pretty good leads too. Yeah, and then she didn't none they none of them like they they barely followed up with any of those leads. Right. Wow, okay. Like they didn't follow them at all. Like. Probably like twenty thirty percent of that. So, so when you when you say about um you getting leads for people, obviously, is it is it strictly sort of Facebook ads that you use to generate leads for these? People? Yeah, strictly strictly Facebook ads. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Sick. Sick. Um, I know you said you've done a couple of courses. Would you mind sort of dropping some of the names of the courses, or is it sort of the jo yeah, yeah, for the, sure. the so, Quinton ones, the Quinton and Jovan sort of one broke it for you. I'm guessing. Yeah, thirty day SMA. That was the, one of the best ones, in my opinion. Um, let's see, Iman Gadji's course is actually kind of good as well. Okay. I, I just think there's just some stuff, you know, wrong with it, but, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I still think it was good. I think every course is great because they, they, they do offer, like, value in it, like, because I, I, I think every course has a specific niche, they're, they're, um, a specific, 
specific problem they're targeting. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, another course also which kind of helped me, which which helped me out was uh, his name's Alex Litvinchuk, and he's he's more about car dealers. Okay. Right. So his, his course like really kind of um helped me with presentation wise in terms of like you know going in these meetings. And um, Ben Henry, Ben Henry got clients. Also, a really good course. Okay, so, yeah, I've actually seen. Um, yeah, I think I've seen this somewhere. To be fair. Yeah, I paid um, paid nine ninety seven for his course. So I mean, I, dude, actually, after I got my first like client, dude, I bought his I bought his course. Sick. Like literally, I just read like what what the client my first client paid me. I literally just reinvested it into another course, which is Dan Henry's course. And then uh, yeah, I just you know bought that. That's sick, man. That's sick. Oh, yeah. Well, man, uh, that's all of the questions I had for you. Um, if you wanted to sort of leave the episode, obviously, like like we've said before, uh, the whole episode is designing the future. And like I, like I said at the beginning, like you've been doing that, man. So first, firstly, just fucking congrats, man. Keep doing what you're doing because it's it's motivating, yeah, sure. it's motivating for, for everyone to watch. And obviously, you've you've had your own journey, yeah. and that's what I want to do with this channel is to just sort of inspire people motivate people to to get off their ass and fucking do something around even if they're in a in a nine to five they're working their job you know there's so much opportunity out there so even if it's not social media marketing you know there's there's so many different opportunities um but yeah just just leave it off man um just sort of talk about your your goals for the remainder of the year and uh, hopefully we can catch up sort of the end of the year and hopefully we can take those those goals off together yeah, for sure. I mean, my goal really is just to, to uh, you know, get my course up and running uh, and really just teach a bunch of people, man. Like, I, I, that's, that's well, that, I mean, that's kind of like one of the reasons why I wanted to become a nurse in the first place was yeah. to help people. To help people. But I realized I didn't, I didn't, I don't have to do that anymore doing a 95 job. Yeah. I could do that literally anywhere and at scale. So that's why, you know, I want to help people and like just kind of this, well, what I, everything I know into a single like, digital product that's it yeah sure. that's my goal for this 2019 is just make that you know one of the best courses sick. um and help a bunch of people change their life just like how we did with mine sick man that's so because good. you know i mean and just to leave off man like i mean wherever you're at in life like you know your life can literally change so fast yeah as long as you take massive massive action you never know what can happen like a week from now if you if you act now and, and, and make a decision as fast as possible 100%. You know what I mean? Like your life can literally change so fast. I literally, so that's, that's probably... I, I literally quit my job. Quit. Well, I've fucking, I've quit like four jobs now. Just literally on the back of of the, of just literally going for it. So, completely agree. With you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely agree. Um, sure. Yeah, man. Um, so you said about obviously you going to Bali. Have you got any sort of other travel sort of um, plans for the um, rest of the year or anything? Yeah, man. I, I was actually thinking about going to South Africa. Because I met some uh, met some cool guys uh, back in Bali. Uh, they're like videographers, photographers, uh, pretty cool guys. Like they have some good content. Was that so I might go visit them in South Africa. Was that the dreadlock guy? I can't remember his name. Weird enough. Oh, Rastafari. Rast yeah, yeah, I like him, man. I no, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, not him. <laughs> no, no, some other guys. Okay. Fair yeah. Play, fair play. But either that or uh, maybe go with uh, go meet up with Quentin and Yovan and in, in, in Serbia. So, Serbia. Okay. I don't know yet. Sick. Yeah. Sick, man. Sick. But, uh, well, if you ever want to come yeah. to London, you've got somewhere to stay, bro. If you're fan. Oh yeah, man. London actually <laughs> is actually a, a place to go to. Also. Yeah. But I don't know if you know who Bobby Riley is. Yeah, that I've, I've done his course. Yeah, we we're quite we're quite. Yeah, I actually have his course as well. Okay. Actually, also, I forgot to uh, say his course. Like that's that's also one of the, uh, one of the best courses I've taken. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I've done really his, good I've done his course as well. He's a he's a he's a great guy as well. Um. Yeah. He don't live too yeah, far from sure. me as well. So. Yeah, man, come over, yeah. man. We're, we're actually talking about doing like a meet up um, some point this year. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, Bradley. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, oh, that would oh be man, I'd be, I'd be interested, man. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get talking yeah, about sure. it, definitely, man. Right, well, uh, right on. thanks again, man. Um, everyone, obviously, go ahead. I'll leave all of uh, Ken's social media below. Definitely go check out his course as well because, like he said, he's invested into himself. He's got that knowledge and now he's ready to put it into his own product. So. I'm very excited to see what you deliver with that. Um, but yeah, go ahead, like the like like the, like the video, comment underneath, and of course subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.